Okay, someone asked me for some statistics problems, so I thought, okay, we can do that. First problem, my coach wants to pick nine people for a batting lineup. That means order matters. Out of a team of 13, how many ways can you do that? So it's a permutation. And a permutation technically is n factorial divided by n minus r factorial. So if you want to go that route, which some of you on the test did, that's okay with me. Or from the uh, decimos, you go 13 in. You want 13 uh, as a team. You want 9 of each. I have an old time calculator. I'm going to try it. Oops, not even on. Oh, won't he go on? There we go. So we'll try this. And it says it would be holy cheese. Two, five, nine, four, five, nine, two, oh, oh. So 259 million, four hundred fifty-nine thousand two hundred. Gee whiz. Now. The principal wants to pick seven students out of a class of 20 to clean the bathroom. How many different groups can be picked? Now notice this order doesn't matter. If they would have said, look, the first three picked are going to do the girls' bathroom, the next three, uh, you know, and then they divide it up. If there's some ordering to it, that's different. So this would be a combination. So that's technically n factorial over r factorial, n minus r factorial. Again, people on the statistics test wrote that out. I don't know why you just don't go to decimals, go n c r, and then it would 20, and you're picking 7. Order doesn't matter. Again, I'm using an old calculator, and it has it, uh, but <laughs> let's see if we can do it. Okay, there, and uh, let's see the number is seven. So it says 77,520. So this one, how many different ways can you arrange read Bible? So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine factorial if all the letters were different. But you have two B's. So I could go BB and then put BB. Well, it's still B. B. So I'd have to cancel out the two factorial. Two cancels. Because there's two repetitions. Let's see. I have two E's. So that's another two factorial. So let's see. E, E, B, B. Do I have anything else? R, no, A, no, D. So now two vectoral is two, two times one. So I'm gonna change this to four. So on my old calculator here, it would be nine, oh goodness, factorial divided by four, and it's 90,720, hopefully. This old calculator sometimes does what it wants. Okay, let's look at another problem. How many three-letter words can be made, I kind of short changes, can be made from the word Murphy's? Now, if you remember, if we just did Murphy, it'd be 666. Why well, I didn't like that. So, three-letter words. Now, I like to actually put little spaces. And there's seven different letters. If a letter repeated, it changes the problem. I mean, if, if it was two R's or something like that, it's not as different. But we're repeating letters, so it'd be seven, 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 or seven cubed, which is a good number. And my calculator says it's 343. Now, if it does not repeat, I still have seven choices for the first one, or one of them. But then the next spot, which I could have put seven here and then six there, and then this one would be five. So 30 times seven is 210. 
Next one, lunch is one fruit, one veg, and one drink. Wow, that's a tiny lunch unless it's really big. Vegetables. How many different lunches can be made if I have seven fruits, ten veg, and three drinks? Well, you multiply three times seven. This is the fundamental counting theorem, if you remember. Three times seven is 21 times 10 would be 210 different lunches. You could make it the whole school year and not have the exact same lunch twice. Ooh. -hoo. So that's my little stat review. Hopefully it helped. Have a good day.